Israeli forces have intensified their attacks on the Gaza Strip as the humanitarian crisis continues to worsen and international efforts to achieve a ceasefire have been frustrated. Our terrorist correspondent Nur Harasin with the details. Israel intensifies its attacks on southern uh, Gaza. Let's talk some highlights. In Deir el-Balah, which is considered the safest area actually in the coastal enclave, a green area where the Israeli army has repeatedly asked the Palestinians to evacuate to the city uh, of uh, Deir el-Balah. From the north, they can go to, the, to Deir el-Balah. From the south, they can go to Deir el-Balah. However, what is happening here on the ground is that there is Israeli attacks in uh, Deir el-Balah. Only overnight, 30 Palestinians were killed, including women and children, in Israeli attacks on uh, Deir el-Balah. And we are talking about several densely populated areas like al Burqa, al Hikir, and also Khattab family home. Uh, so yes, as I mentioned, said that three people were uh, killed. Uh, moving to uh, Khan Yunus, there is intensive battles here on the ground between the Palestinian militants and the Israeli uh, forces, even though um, most of uh, Khan Yunus city, most of the people in Khan Yunus city have evacuated due to the uh, intensive Israeli bombings. I mean, we're talking about whole neighborhoods that were just blown up by the Israeli uh, bombings over the past uh, few days. Uh, moving to here, Rafah, where it's housing more than 1.5 million people, there is actually continuous attacks on the city on Rafah uh, for the past few days, even though we consider Rafah as the uh, calmest area. But yes, there is Israeli attacks. A number of people were actually killed. And this is actually bringing the thought that maybe there will be a very near future Israeli land invasion in Rafah. Nur Harazin, Tilisur, Gaza.